Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. We are back again with some weekly meal prep. Y'all know how much I love doing this every single week. Just prepping up a few things to help me out, especially through the summer months. I've noticed it's been super helpful with Winston being home and us being here, there, and everywhere. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's go ahead and get right on into it. We're going to go ahead and start off with making some brownies. Luke asked for some brownies this week for a sweet treat. Now, I have made this brownie mix for a while now. I have already shared it on my channel, so I'll make sure to have it linked down below. But I love having these mixes already ready to go in my pantry. All I have to do is dump it in, add the other ingredients, and you have homemade brownies in no time. They are so delicious. You can add any chocolate chips, any add-ins that you want to, nuts. But keeping those mixes on hand just helps me save time in the kitchen. One, I'm not reaching for the box mix. And these are homemade brownies in a couple minutes besides baking. Like I'm talking about mixing them. It makes it super easy and these are delicious. While those are in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my lemonade. Y'all know I make this every single week. It is definitely a favorite in the summer months. I wanted to make sure to mention that I do have this pitcher lid as well as the mason jars linked to my Amazon storefront. If you're needing a new cereal bar recipe, this is my new go-to. It's literally three ingredients. I will make sure to have the recipe linked down below for you guys. It is peanut butter, honey, and then your Cheerios. And you can use, but I feel like you can use any cereal you want to. I probably wouldn't pair this with like a fruity cereal but any of your like basic cereals I feel like would be really good with this but you heat up the honey and the peanut butter together and then you add in your cereal and then you just press it down into a casserole dish and then you cut it up into bars Winston loved these they are so easy Now I'm going to go ahead and do some egg bites for some easy grab and go breakfast. Now you can add anything and everything to these. You can do any proteins, any vegetables, you have fun with it. I'm keeping these basic because I want Winston to eat them as well. Um, so I'm just going to do egg, cheese, and protein. I'm doing half bacon and half sausage. But I have done these so many times for Luke and Grover. I love doing um, sauteed peppers and onions, mushrooms. Like I said, you play around with it. You know what your family likes. 
so you just add whatever you want but what I like to do when I do the cups so I know every cup has the same amount of protein or veggies um, I like to mix my egg mixture separate and then add the protein and cheese and all that individual to each cup I'm actually using my water glass eggs from last year for these I absolutely loved having those on hand whenever I needed them regardless if I couldn't find eggs at the store or if we couldn't afford eggs that week I loved having these on hand now if you have no clue what I'm talking about water bathing eggs I will make sure to have that video linked down below for you guys but I will definitely be doing more next year I'm trying to go through them that way I can empty out my jars and get some fresh ones for this coming year I ended up using eight eggs and it made 12 egg bites I'm gonna add in some salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and then I did add in a splash of milk I'm just gonna mix that together and then we're gonna fill our silicone tray and then we will pour the egg mixture over the top I do have these egg trays linked in my Amazon storefront as well y'all these are lifesavers when it comes to any of these egg bites or muffins or anything because it is non-stick it literally pops right out and it is perfect so I'm gonna do sausage for half bacon on the other half and then we're gonna pour the egg mixture in and then we will top it with cheese and then I'm just gonna get these put in a 325 degree oven until they're baked through I take a toothpick or even a chopstick and just poke the center and make sure that the eggs are cooked through And here they are when they are all done and these are so good quick and easy grab and go breakfast and they're very customizable I just let them completely cool and then I'm just gonna put them in a Tupperware dish and just keep them in the fridge I promise they won't last long there's a couple days this week that we will be busy and might not be home for lunch so I wanted to do a couple grab and go lunchables for Winston and myself just so I have these ready to go in the fridge. Now if y'all watched my last meal prep video I did like DIY lunchable snack plates um, like with lunch meat, cheese, eggs. I absolutely love doing those. Where we have a busy week I didn't want to do too many and so I just decided since I was already doing pizza for Winston that I would do me too pizza ones as well and I cannot wait to just be able to put these in a cooler in a lunchbox and Winston and I can go to the park or if we go to the pool whatever the case is I have these ready to go in the fridge perfect for me low carb and then also for him to have a quick and easy snack or lunch all I have left on my list to do is wash and cut up this produce and I am done with my weekly prep for this week I do have some other recipes planned that I'm gonna be making for me that's why I didn't do my normal like weekly meal meal prep because I have a couple special recipes coming so make sure y'all stay tuned for that but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one bye guys